So we have this little baby kitten that was found by a um, Good Samaritan and turned over to a rescue organization that we work quite a bit with. Um, so this poor little guy's had a rough go at it so far. So he's got an avulsion injury and obviously he's very excited. Um, he's got an avulsion injury to his face. So we can see where his chin is actually pulled down from his mandible. So um, we are going to essentially debride this today and fix it and pull it up and put that where it should be. Um, he also unfortunately has had an injury to his eye and he doesn't seem to be very concerned about it, but this eye has been ruptured. That's gonna need to be removed as well. We're not gonna do that today um, just because he also has an upper respiratory infection and he's otherwise not super healthy. So we wanna make sure that we get him well first. So we're just gonna address the um, avulsion to the mandible today. So we're gonna actually pull that up and I'll have some footage there so you can see. Um, we'll place some sutures and then we'll get him back here in probably two, three weeks once we get the respiratory infection cleared, we will remove that eye and we'll castrate him. So that'll be our little project today. Of course, he's a super nice little boy. So um, this is Rural Ohio Cats and Kittens Rescue that we work with. I will link them below if you're interested in donating to this guy's care or to any of the other kittens in their um, care. They do a really nice job getting these guys vetted here in Central Ohio. So um, consider donating to his stuff. Okay, so we've got this kitten anesthetized. We can see this injury a little bit better now. Um, let's see if we can, there we go. So all of this skin has pulled down. So we're gonna debride this, essentially pull it up, and then retack this. Um, and put this back on here. Okay. So we're gonna just flush this tissue. We've already cleaned it with some dilute betadine, but we're just gonna flush up the tissue a little. It starts, it started to retract, so we're going to try to not handle this more than we have to here. But we're going to have to debride this a little bit. So this is the bottom jaw because we need to essentially pull this up and reattach it like that. So what we'll do is, sometimes I'll use a button, but we're going to tack some sutures here a couple places and just bring this lip up. But I just want to debride this a little bit more. bite of gingival tissue and kind of anchor it around this canine tooth. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to leave my suture tags on this long right now so I can see. Doing. So we'll pull this one up here. We want it to be pretty even. We've got this kitten on inhalant anesthesia. Our nurse is monitoring vitals. This kitten also has a bit of an upper respiratory infection, so we're trying to be as quick as we can with this, maintain this kid's airway. Okay, so I left my suture tags long right now just so we can kind of see so we essentially pulled this up to get this tissue I might do one more on each side because we can see how it's pulled down here so I'm going to tack it here on the side one thing about kittens we have to do be careful about is we do have teeth that are erupting um, that are going to be erupting here but we just need to get this to sit back down where we want it I got buttons out to use, but I actually don't think we're gonna use them. Just because I'm getting nice bites of tissue without it. So that'll be one less thing this little kitten will have to mess with. Oh, but you can see that pulled through right there. So my bite was not as good as I thought it was. So I have to check 
try to take a bigger, bigger bite of tissue. I'm using 4 ot suture material right now. Our goal is to get this kitten back here in a couple weeks and remove all of the, probably remove this eye. I'm regretting leaving those suture tags long right now because they're in my way. because they're now in my way and I'm annoyed. Okay. We'll put one tack over here as well and then we might be done. about an hour after surgery. We're eating well with some good canned food. His foster mom said he wasn't eating well on his own. Last night she had to syringe feed him, so he's feeling a bit better here. This is Ike. He just had his eye removed today. If you remember, this is we're a couple weeks after we fixed his jaw. You can tell he's very happy with his buprenorphine on board. He's going to be much more comfortable um, and hopefully he will find a good home soon. He's being fostered um, for the rural cats um, and kittens of Ohio. <laughs> he is moving and grooving today. No, we're not jumping out of our kennel. This is our final checkup for this little kitten that came in originally if you guys obviously you're watching the whole video but he had the um, bottom of his mandible um, the skin all evolved off of here he had the eye injury and he's still just as busy as he was before um, but we took his eye out and neutered him about two weeks ago so I'm gonna take these stitches out here with one of my nurses um, but you can see how great he looks. <laughs> he is just playing and all over the place. So there's some stitches still in there, but the bottom of his jaw, everything looks great from where we fixed that. His grown up teeth came in as expected. So <laughs> he is ready for a new home. <laughs> uh, so we'll post um, at uh, in the bottom the link for rural Ohio cats and kittens. But this is a great story. This is why we love what we do and kind of seeing these guys from start to finish and uh, it's nice when we get to take all their stuff. So he says, I need a home. <laughs> Oops. <laughs>